Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello. How you doing? Welcome. You've just slipped into the most fabulous on period place on YouTube, and I am so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, I'm just going to give you five seconds so you can hurry up and go do what you do. Subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that little old me, I need a little shiny, 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 yeah. Ooh, all of this winnings in this YouTube streets, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for always clicking on my thumbnail because you know you've seen my thumbnail and you've been hidden and you click on it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now, today's video is about the best, my best fragrance purchases of 2023. Now, you know, I just thought about it because when I've been doing the hauls, you know, you want to buy haul, this haul july haul we're buying and now it's like at the end of the year i'm like trying to figure out my best purchases and it's like chill it's a lot <laughs> okay so i'm gonna need you to grab um hot cocoa because you know we're in december or i'm a tea drinker so grab your cup of tea or you can do you know some wine it's early but chill if you want to drink this early because most times I put my video up in the morning. So, but guess what? It's always evening somewhere in the world. So you can grab yourself a glass of wine, a cup of tea or hot cocoa or coffee. If you want to know best of the best 2023 purchase, the fragrances I purchased in 2023, the top tier, top tier, top tier, top tier, top, top tier, then stick around. That night I said I was recording late. I wasn't recording late, I was just smoking, chilling, had a couple drinks. So my number one best fragrance acquisition, addition, purchase in 2023. This is the latest fragrance I just got. And I'm going to tell you why it's the best. And I put it number one, although this list is in no particular order. For me, this was a moment. So I had to put this as my number one. And this is from mind games and it is called leonara now why this is number one for my best of the my best purchase of 2023 is because i got to meet the perfumer behind leonara so it just made it so iconic because listen when i went to the mind games counter the first time when i smelled all the fragrances the one that stuck out to me the most was checkmate so when I went back the second time, I got invited to a Mind Games event at um, Nima Marcus and I got to meet the perfumer, Christelle Lamprade. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. She was so sweet and she was amazing. And then I got my bottle, everything custom. So she put here, Dear Alali. Oh. You see why? Do you see why this is the best? She said, Dear Alali. It was a pleasure meeting you. Of course. Of course. Like, it's me. Duh. It has to be a pleasure. Like, she said, enjoy Leonara. And then she put her, her name right here, Christelle. So I got my initials engraved on it. You can see it right there. And at the back, it says, enjoy. And then it says, Christelle. So for me, this made... Although the fragrance is amazing, it's like a white floral fragrance, which, you know, I do love white florals, but it just made this extra special. This is such a beautiful scent. Very feminine, very rich. It smells like a rich woman. It smells like a lavish lady that loves to take trips to Paris. Wee oui, wee. Oui, that loves Chanel, you know, the classic flap. She, <sighs> mm. She just likes the finer things in life. So I'm so happy to have Leonara in my collection. And honestly, this is like the, the best acquisition because this is actually my first signed bottle by the perfumer. So that's iconic for me. So I will always remember this moment and I am happy to have this in my collection. Although it's brand spanking new, I think that this was 
hands down the best the best addition best purchase best acquisition best new the the newest newbie in my collection and i'm so happy to have her now let's get into the meat and potatoes my next best purchase of 2023 i'm gonna lift them both at the same time they're from the same house i couldn't decide between both of them which one to go by and the first one is guidance by amouage now guidance is iconic guidance is legendary she had the greatest run in 2023 all the girls was eating her up i hated her the first time i smelled her but it is so unique it's so great one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection this is so good every time i put it on it feels like i have on perfume like i have on a heavy hitter and this is so good i feel like this is one fragrance i will probably always have in my collection like it's that that good and the next one is portrayal by amouage now this one when i added portrayal to my collection it just did something to me because it's a jasmine fragrance there's jasmine there's tobacco in here <sighs> i love jasmine and the tobacco funks it up it just makes this fragrance so beautiful like to me it's so edgy it's just like <sighs> whenever I, I i smell whenever i smell portrayal <sighs> It just transports me to so many places. It's such a well-crafted fragrance. It smells expensive. It smells very niche. It smells like it smells like a rich lady as well. So these two fragrances from the house of Amouage. Amouage hit this year for me. Um, Honor Woman was also a great purchase for me. And Overture. Overture was an amazing purchase that should be on this list. But my list is so long. I did not want to make it any longer. But let's just go ahead and throw and throw them in right now so from the house of amouage amouage got me in a chokehold so now we have overture here and then we also have honor woman so yes all these were great purchases for me in 2023 so honor woman overture portrayal and guidance definitely my best purchase of um 2023 my next best purchase of 2023 is by fragrance dubois and this is Ujon intense this fragrance the only reason i don't use it a lot is because it is so expensive and i feel like i need you need to wine and dine me to wear this like i have to also be going to like a fabulous fabulous soiree to pull this out this is not your everyday grab and go fragrance no 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 honey this is when you want to fly me out you know getting flued out but this is such an amazing fragrance to me and I, I really love this fragrance. Definitely one of my best purchases. This is the best automizer in my entire collection. Every time I spray it, the way the fragrance sprays, it just screams lavish. It screams rich. It screams we're going to MS. It screams we're getting a Kelly. It screams we're getting a Birkin. And we're going to Paris. That's what I get from this fragrance. It's just amazing. And I just, oh, let me tell you, the automizer is just the mist is so rich, it's so soft, it doesn't do too much, it's just... But Ujo Intense by Fragrance Du Bois, definitely one of my best purchases, hands down, of 2023. It is beautiful. My next best purchase of 2023 is what kicked off my channel. This really inspired me because when I got this, it felt like I was the best fragrance girl on the planet. <laughs> and that's Overture from Zerzhov and Muse by Zerzhov. Together, oh my goodness, my spring was set, my spring was made. Overture is so amazing, so unique. It's like, it feels like there's incense, there's fig. I never knew I liked fig. <sighs> It's so good like it's so good i always say this is like my of choice and this is like my lick of choice the drink muse is a plum a very very juicy plum and then there's leather in here i wear this together i wear them by themselves it is so stunning and this ruled my spring so ujo intense was spring and summer top tier this ruled spring completely for me it started off my channel and this is like me in a bottle so 
this is very edgy it's very unique you're not going to smell like anybody else when you use this and i really love it i cannot wait for us to get to march and april for me to start wearing this again and the thing with overture is you can actually wear it all year round both of them to be honest but overture from zerjov and muse from zerjov together by themselves my best purchase of 2023 my next best purchase from 2023 is also two fragrances from one house and this one got me in a choke hold okay and that's lamar from the house of kajal and almaz from the house of kajal these two fragrances and the zerja got me a spring and summer i did not know any other fragrance the pineapple in here is so ripe it's so juicy i'm i need a bowl of fruit right now this is such a beautiful fragrance when i smelled this i was like the hub who the hub is what y'all hyping and then they said the hub smells like air by pewter i'm like um i don't know about that here this is the bomb this is the gold and no pun intended <laughs> and almas was so unique i do not own anything anything that smells like this it is green and then the sugar it feels like Kajal got me with this too. This too had me in a chokehold. These were amazing purchases. I do not regret getting this too. This was a birthday gift, and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. And then this I purchased, but both of them were amazing purchases for 2023. And I cannot wait to wear them more in 2024, especially when the weather starts to get warmer again when we get to march i'll bring this out i think this year my spring and my summer was lit like it was lit lit it was litty my next best purchase of 2023 this is an expensive fragrance y'all this is jump up and kiss me by clive christian this fragrance was a love at first sniff for me when i sniffed this in Neymar Marcus, i was like wow this is exquisite this smells like a sophisticated lady but it's strong and it's very sharp, almost very sharp and pungent. It was like one drop away from being a little bit too strong for my nose. But whenever I wear this, it just smells so sophisticated. I feel like I'm a walking class. I'm like a bossy lady. Like I have a really good, fabulous job and I'm making like buku money. But this is so good. I feel like a queen when I wear it. And yeah, Queen Elizabeth. Fun fact. My name is actually also Elizabeth. So yeah, it's giving Queen, it's giving British, and um, it's giving Elizabeth. And hello, that's me too. So Jump Up and Kiss Me by Clive Christian was definitely a great purchase. One of the best purchases in 2020, in 2023. And my dent is close to the boob area right now. And I am actually trying not to use it because this is just a 50 ml and I can easily go crazy with this. But yes, Jump Up and Kiss Me by Clive Christian. Definitely a best purchase of 2023. The next best purchase of 2023, these are two cheapies that I added. And these two cheapies were going with the big dogs. They were not, they don't smell cheap. And although they're cheapies, they smell expensive. They smell lavish and... Whew. This is Love Chopin but from the House of Chopin. And this is Seha Sheila by Swiss Arabia. Love Chopin, I got this because I was in Europe. And while I was in Europe, I smelled Nigeria by Spirit of Dubai. Now, that fragrance was like $1,300 because it was $1,295. And I'm like, um, hello, what's going on? Um, Not going to happen. <laughs> so... I started looking at the notes and doing some research and this popped up. I was like, okay. And guess what? I saw it on Jama Shop. And what makes it even better? When, when I saw it on Jama Shop, they also had a tester. I was like, a tester and it's cheaper. Let me see if it really smells like Spirit of Dubai, New Jersey. Let me just see what you do. When I tell you this, I think I ended up paying like $40 or $40 something. And when it came, I smelt it, New Jersey. 
it smelled so close to it it also has this portrait of a lady-esque vibe to it it smells lavish it's if you have to be a lover of rose because in here you get rose in the top rose in the middle and rose in the base this gives and here say hashila by sweets arabia this is rose and oud at its finest this smells lavish it smells like money like this is so underrated you need to get your hands and your nose, your wallet on it. And if you're able to also get a tester of it, you're like saving money upon money. This is so good, y'all. It is so good. If you love um, Rose de Arabi by Amani Privier, you would love this. You will understand this. This is such a beautiful scent. It's stunning. It smells expensive. I am trying to find my dent because the bottle is dark. But my dent is also denting in here. And this is such a great purchase. And for the price of this, you cannot beat this with a stick because this was cheap and it's amazing. So these two cheapies are my best cheapie purchase of 2023. Love Chopard from the House of Chopard and Seha Sheila by Swiss Arabia. Best. My next best purchase of 2023 is also two fragrances from one house. And that is by K. Ali. This is the Wedding Collection Silk Santal 30. Six. and then here i have cafe oud <sighs> this one <sighs> first of all first of all look at my bottle you know you know how i do i blinged out the bottle it's giving bride not just any kind of bride it's giving fabulous lavish bride the only reason why this is not completely finished is because i had to tell myself not to use it so I just don't pull for it because I cannot get 100 ml. That's the only reason. If not, I feel like this fragrance would have been completely gone. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It smells like a wedding cake. So I like to layer this with Love Don't Be Shy because I do not like to wear Love Don't Be Shy by itself. I like to layer it with this or I layer it with Delina. Over here is Cafe Oud. This is from the Oud Gazim collection. Out of all the fragrances from the collection, this was the one that got me in a chokehold and I had to get a full bottle. And my dent is already shoulder level right now. And I literally just got this fragrance like, what, two, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I think. And my dent is right here right now. So you can tell. I've been, and you know I also had the 10 mil. It's a Dubai queen. Arabic princess, you know, it's given Arabian nights. I love this. This is such a great release. And then the wedding one is so good. I have not used them together, but I love both of them. And these are amazing purchases. Great purchase for me. The next best purchase of 2023 is Rouge Sare by Atelier des Ours. This fragrance is, is so good. Let me tell you. I should just hold all Atelier Desores because I got the Rose Amayad in the springtime and it's an amazing purchase. I do not regret that. And then I got Lune Feline a few weeks ago as well, which is um, an amazing purchase. But I decided to go with Rouge Saray because out of all three, Rouge Saray to me is the star. But let's just go ahead and add all of them because they were amazing. So Rouge Saray was top tier and i got rose amayad in the springtime and it reminds me of morocco the oud in it is so good with the rose and then we got lunfaline all three amazing purchases best purchase of 2023 so far lunfaline is stunning it is an incredible vanilla fragrance and if you want to smell like a dubai queen an arabic princess then rose amayad is such an amazing fragrance and top tier purchase for me but Rousseare, oh, is that Middle Eastern dessert? It is so good. It's woody, it's sweet, it's deep, it's dark. This is the epitome of perfumery. This is so stunning and I am obsessed with Rousseare. So My next best purchase of 2023 is Haute Bijou by the House of Sillage. Now I know I got a bad batch. You know, we talk about my bad batch like I used to talk about it so much. I got a really bad batch because it takes so long for it to open up. But uh, is that grapefruit? This is a summer puncher. It is such a really gorgeous fruity fragrance. And in the summertime, I was using this and I loved it in the summer. Now I can't use it, but this is my dent so far. This is such a great fragrance in the summertime. And you project. Did you hear that? 
Did you hear that? Huh, this batch. Sometimes I don't want to reach for it because of the I feel like it's just annoying to open. But I didn't reach out to House of Sears to tell them that I got a bad batch. I just I moved on from it. But this is such a great fragrance in the summertime, especially when the weather is hot. You use this, it projects, it's long lasting, and it it was given rooftop brunch. It was just given outdoor and people just used to catch whiffs of it and i got tons of compliments from it so hot bijou was definitely a great purchase one of the best purchases for me in 2023 the next best purchase of 2023 is tobacco honey by golan this is also a brand new fragrance that i added to my collection but you can see i've had it for what two weeks two three weeks and this is my den so far so you can tell that i I'm obsessed with this. It's tobacco, it's honey, but it's a honey first before you get to the tobacco. Oh, this is so intoxicating. It is deep. It feels like there's a tonka bean cacao feel to it. It is so beautiful. This is such a great fragrance and it made me, in 2024, I will be racking up Guerlain fragrances. There's a jasmine one that I want. I also want to get my nose on the gourmand one. My Nima Marcus somehow... They just don't have that one. I also got a sample of Nude Oud, and that was really, really nice. Cruel Gardenia, I hated it the first time I smelled it, but right now I'm like, I like it. Spiritus Double Vanille, I need to add that. Angelique Noir, I hated it the first time I smelled it, but now I'm like, I need to add it. So Guerlain is going to be the house that I will be racking up their fragrances in 2024. But Tobacco Honey is definitely a best purchase for me. It is so stunning. It's unisex. The guys are going to love it. The girls are going to love it. And if you like honey, honey, you need to get your nose on this. Such a great fragrance. The next best purchase of 2023 is Vanilla Oud by Vertos Paris. Oui, oui. Look at my bottle. It's bedazzled. Chef's kiss. This is a vanilla and oud fragrance. It is so good. <laughs> It's very unisex and very oody. You need to love oud for you to appreciate this fragrance. Now, I love to layer this. If you want to tone it down, like when I want to tone down the oud a bit, I put Goddess by Barberry. If not, I wear this by itself. This is a stunning fragrance. It is amazing. It is top tier. It's one of the best fragrances from the house. It is so good, you guys. Like, this is so good. If you're a guy, you would love this. This is not like the girly um, gourmand chip chip chop chop vanilla no this is a vanilla and it has that oomph to it such a great fragrance and i am so happy to have vanilla oud in my collection my next best purchase of 2023 is sweetie a oud by roja this fragrance gets i feel like it gets a lot of love and a lot of hate a lot of people love the top notes but don't love the dry down i love the dry down because i love woody fragrances this is such a lavish luxurious wood and it's sweet with the gourmand accord this is an amazing fragrance and definitely one of the best purchases for me in 2023 so i am so happy to have suitia oud i have always wanted suitia oud and I need Amber Oud. I had it in my cart for the longest and I just never pulled the trigger on it. So that would be on my wish list for 2024. We're almost getting to the end. The next one is another one from Zerzhov and this is 40 Knots. This fragrance right here, it smells so lavish. It smells rich. It smells like a luxurious yacht. It has this marine vibe to it. I don't know what they put in here, but it smells like perfume. You know, like it smells like high quality perfume. The way when you smell guidance and you no know, ujoint, it's like you feel like this is a perfume. This is a perfume. And it smells exactly, <laughs> literally exactly like Ambre Nui by Dior. This is incredible. Definitely one of the best purchases of 2023 for me. My dent is um, almost shoulder. I'm right here. I absolutely love 40 knots. If you're a guy, you would love it. You need to get your nose, your hands, and your wallet on it. It's very unisex, but very unique. It smells like a rich human. It doesn't smell like a rich man or rich woman. It's just a rich human that loves to take um, vacation in their private yacht. They don't do carnival and Norwegian. No, that's for the commoners. They own their own yacht. 
your the husband the boyfriend or you you own your own yacht that's what i get from 40 knots definitely a great one of the best purchases for me in 2023 the next best purchase of 2023 is arabian stone car oh damn this is light and um red aoud by montal red aoud was added i would say just before fall or maybe the beginning of fall this is like a I think it has, is there cumin in here? But I know there's rose. It is like a very, very unique fragrance. Oh, it's spicy. Yes, it's black pepper. There's black pepper in here. It's very spicy. Smells very, very mysterious. So it gives that Dubai Queen vibes as well. This is a, such a great fragrance. Red, Aoud by Montal definitely your best purchase arabian stonk on the other hand is very sweet if you like intense cafe you would like it i think they're like in the same scent profile very sweet and this project oh this one comes off and this project i would tell you arabian stonka lasts all day this is a 48 36 hour fragrance if you put it on your clothes it does not go anywhere one of the most long-lasting fragrances in my collection is Montal. Montal fragrances last long. This is so long-lasting. It is actually it's so good. But these two are definitely best purchases of 2023. My last and final best purchase of 2023 is Greenwich Village by Bond Number no. 9. I struggled between this and Nomad. Nomad is such a good fragrance as well. But I found myself kind of pulling for Greenwich Village a little bit more. Now, this fragrance, I got Greenwich Village, I think, based off of the recommendation of Erin Nicole here on YouTube. She always used to talk about it, and she would smell it and be like, oh, nice. And I'm like, I need that, because I just loved how it made her feel. Now, every time I've worn this fragrance, I've gotten compliment, but of course, people always ask me, is it Baccarat? And I'm like, no. But it's like a fruity version of Baccarat. And I enjoyed it in the summertime. It was really hitting in the summertime. And I really enjoyed I really enjoyed Greenwich Village. Look at my bottle of Greenwich Village. I blinged it out. I actually like this fragrance. So definitely one of my best purchases of 2023. And on that note, I think I've come to the end. <sighs> that was a lot of fragrances. But those are the best fragrances i added in my collection in 2023 my best purchases i do not have any regrets for all the fragrances i mentioned so far um i don't see anyone even ending up on the chopping block these are fragrances that i literally absolutely loved in 2023 another honorable mention is moon glory by the harmonist that is also another amazing fragrance that i added in 2023 what are some of the fragrances you added the best top tier top tier top tier that you added to your collection in 2023 let me know and maybe it may kickstart my wish list for 2024 because i will be preparing a wish list i'll be putting together a video of my wish list my 2024 fragrance wish list so let me know in the comments below what are some of your best purchases of 2023 do you own any of these fragrances and also let me know the fragrances I mentioned, did you buy any of them based off of my recommendation? If you did, let me know which ones you got from this list because I feel like some of this some of the fragrances here, I talked about them throughout the year. So let me know if you ended up picking up some of the fragrances I mentioned and if they ended up on your best purchase list of 2023. Like I always say, in all things, add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, add more glitter. And when all else fails and your back's against the ropes, you need to listen to me because I have some best purchases of 2023, okay? <laughs> when all else fails and your back's against the ropes, what you need to do, try one of the best purchases of 2023. And which one will we go by? We're still going to grab our Ujon Intense and add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video. Oh, the atomizer. It just sprays so beautifully. Oh, this fragrance is so good.
It's so lavish. I love it so 